Are you interested in becoming a therapist and really wondering or confused about what type of therapist you should become? Well, I am a licensed clinical social worker and I am currently in the process of getting my PhD in psychology. This is a question that comes up a lot and I thought that I would do a video on it about the differences between LCSW or a master's level therapist position versus an actual PhD doctoral position. Hello and welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, please don't forget to hit the like and subscribe button for more content. Uh, my name is Melissa, Mental Health with Melissa, and I post videos every single Wednesday and Sunday. Subscribing to my channel really helps me get mental health information out there to our communities of color and tons of free LCSW test prep for those that are, you that are studying for your LCSW exam. So today we are going to be talking about mental health professions, particularly an LCSW versus a PhD. Okay, so some very brief information about me. I am a licensed clinical social worker. So if you have not seen my video on the very specific step-by-step -step process on how to become an LCSW, I'm going to link that video in the description box below because it tells you everything that you need to know on becoming a licensed clinical therapist, in particular, a licensed clinical social work. So I don't wanna go over that whole step-by-step um, -step process because because I already have a video on it, but I will go over some comparisons. So right now, um, I have my LCSW in the state of California, and uh, in a nutshell, like I said, go ahead and watch the step-by-step -step in my other video, but in a nutshell, to become a licensed clinical social worker, you have to get your master's degree in social work at um, a university that offers the MSW. And then after you get the MSW, you're not licensed right away. You have to get a job where you have a clinical supervisor and they give you hours. And after you meet the maximum amount of hours, each state is different. It's usually about two years. And then you can submit your um, hours and then sit for the LCSW exam. And if you pass, then you become a licensed therapist. So all in all, to become a licensed clinical social worker, it takes approximately, so four years of a bachelor's degree, two years of grad school, that is if you do full time, two years of painting your hours, if not more. Maybe all in all, about eight years, eight years, eight years. Mm -hmm maybe more than depending on if you actually are able to work for a place that will give you your hours right away. And at that point, you're a licensed graduate clinical therapist. Now, um, the reason why I went back to get my PhD in psychology is because the um, graduate program that I was in really focused on the clinical side of things. Now, what do I mean when I say clinical? When I say clinical, I mean there was a lot of practicum, a lot of therapy work, a lot of the courses surrounding, um, surrounded therapy work with families, systems, series, and individual and couples counseling. But there wasn't a lot of research-based material. So in kind of getting more into my profession as a licensed clinical social worker um, and a therapist, I realized that there were some um, disparities in um, literature and disparities on treating specific populations. And as a result, this made me want to learn more. You can't just learn more um, you know, without having some of the proper tools and training sometimes. And so that's what I really wanted. Um, and in addition to that, I really wanted to be in some sort of position where I could teach in higher academia because I really enjoy doing that. Um, being a licensed clinical supervisor allows me to provide supervision to associate social workers that are um, in, the, in the process of obtaining their hours for licensure. And I really love that aspect of um, my position. And so I wanted to kind of get into another position where I would be able to do that in a different capacity, such as being a professor at a university. That's what led me to applying for 
uh, graduate school for a second time, except doing a PhD. So the PhD that I'm currently um, getting is in psychology. Now, um, I could have um, decided to go the route of getting my PhD in psychology after I obtained my master's in social work because you don't need a license to get your PhD. So essentially, you do need some history of graduate school. I could have just, after I finished my master's, gone straight into my PhD and then became an, uh, a licensed clinical psychologist. But I wanted to really a therapist in the social work field. So that's why I went that route. When I went into uh, school to get my PhD, because I'm, I'm obtaining my PhD right now, I really learned and I'm learning a lot about research, uh, the different methods of research, psychological testing and things of that nature, things that were not taught in my master's of social work program. So usually, if you want to become a licensed clinical psychologist, after you complete your PhD, you have to do the same sort of process as I did in becoming a licensed clinical social worker and obtaining hours before you can become a licensed clinical psychologist. So if I had not gone the route of becoming a licensed clinical social worker and I had my master's degree and jumped right into the PhD program, then I would have then um, wanted to be in a program where I could then later collect my hours and become a licensed psychologist, a licensed clinical psychologist. But because I already have my license in clinical social work and I'm already a licensed psychotherapist, I don't think that it's necessary for me to become a licensed clinical psychologist. So what will happen after I finish my PhD, after I finish my dissertation and it gets, um, I defend it and it gets approved by my committee and by the university, I will not be collecting further hours. So that will be the end of that. So that means I will be unlicensed psychologist. So I will be a doctor, but I won't be a licensed psychologist. And again, the reason for that is because I will not be working towards hours because I'm already a licensed therapist. And I really wanted the PhD for the purposes of um, hopefully getting into higher academia teaching and also to gain more insight and skills into writing academically and the research purposes. Since I wasn't able to get that from, again, the college that I went to for my MSW. So anyway, the those are the main differences between um, the license in whether it be uh, clinical social work or if you decide to go for your MFT or you decide to go for licensed professional counselor or a licensed mental health counselor. Uh, those um, all are graduate school, master degree levels, and then you get your license afterwards. Whereas with a PhD in psychology, it's a completely different level. You go and get your doctoral degree, and then afterwards, if you decide that you want to be licensed as a psychologist, you get further um, schooling for that. So that takes much longer in that capacity. So either way, there is tons of schooling for each and you have to find what works best for you. Again, I really love my career as a social worker because it gives me the capacity to work as a therapist, to work as a teacher and to really work um, in our communities. However, again, uh, I wanted to expand my skills and my knowledge set and research and teaching and writing. And so I went back to get my PhD. So I hope that this was this information was helpful. If you have any questions or you um, are going through grad, graduate school yourself and you want to leave information about the process for you, please leave it in the comment section below. Until next time, managing mental health matters.